In Cinema 4D, models are created, UV unwrapped, textured, painted and animated. Using Cinema 4D's integrated exporter, the models including its UV map, joints, animation and textures are exported to .fbx. When exporting a model, make sure to include textures and materials and embed textures when external textures are used. Inside Unity, we can import the model directly from Unity project window. The name and structure that we assigned from Cinema 4D are maintained. Moreover, because we include textures and materials as well as embedded the textures, they will be imported and assigned to the model automatically. Often, we have a skinned model in the game, such as a complete rigged character. In such cases, Cinema 4D exports the objects along with the joints, which are converted to bones as well as the skin weight information with the FBX file. Inside Unity, all manipulation we do to the bones will deform the mesh correctly as the skin weight information are maintained. Character animation can be separated into different files such as running and walking animation. Animations on spline and null objects that directly control the joints, such as when using Expresso and Constraints tag, will be automatically baked onto the joints. Cinema 4D exports animations on models and joints. When exporting animation for a character, we only need to include the animation data. The motion feature can be utilized for creating cyclic or repetitive animation such as walking cycle. Cinema 4D is able to export the animation done this way without previously having to bake the animation. When saving and exporting the animation file, it can be given a naming convention, model name and animation name. Make sure to include animation and bake all frame data when functions such as C-Motion is used. Inside Unity, importing the animation files with the correct naming convention, the animation data will be recognized as well as the character avatar they belong to, as long as the structure and name of the animation file matches the avatar. Automatically, the animation will be applied onto the character avatar in Unity Hierarchy. Once the animation has been applied, we can start controlling the animation inside of Unity with codes.